Namshivaya, a very pleasant morning to each one of you present here. Class 10 and class 12, welcome back to school. So this is a very important day for you, day 1 in the school as the senior most students of the school. That adds up an additional responsibility on your shoulders, right? So now you being the senior most schools, class 12, we expect a mature behavior from you. Not only academics, but the behavior part also, we expect that you shoulder responsibility, you show true leadership qualities in your behavior, and class 10, shoulder of the responsibilities, uh, you have to become the role model to the little ones here, and they need to truly follow your footsteps. Your behavior has to be truly motivating to all the students here. Now, uh, uh, a few tips to you. You would have heard the story of her, the bird's eye of Arjuna, right? Dronacharya was the master, the guru for both the Kauravas and the Pandavas in the art of archery. But the Kauravas always felt, and even some of the Pandavas always felt that Guru Dronacharya was being a little biased towards his favorite disciple, Arjuna. He held a competition to prove why this feeling happened in him. He hung a wooden bar amongst the branches of a tree and then he called each one of them to aim at the bird and shoot. First came Yudhishthira. He asked him, what can you see? He said, I can see the branches, I can see the tree, I can see the bird, so many things. Guru said, please keep the bow and arrow down and leave the place. The same thing was repeated by all the 101 Kauravas and the four Pandavas. The last turn was of Arjuna. Arjuna came, took the bow and arrow, focused on the bird. Guru Dronacharya asked him, Arjuna, what do you see? Quickly came the reply, I see the eye of the bird. Guru asked him, what else do you see? Do you see the branches around? He said, no. Do you see the people around? He said, no. Do you see the trees around? No. He said, go ahead, shoot. He shot right at the eye of the bird. And this is called focus. Now you understand why Guru Dronacharya was impressed with his favorite disciple Arjuna. The lessons imparted by the Guru was not different for any student, right? Whether it is for the Kauravas or the Pandavas, the lessons imparted were same. There was no difference, there was no disparity in the lessons given. Even in the classroom of 40 students, when a teacher comes to the classroom, the lessons given are the same. But what makes the difference is the focus what you give. For all other students also present here, now that your final exams are nearing, it is the focus that makes, that brings in a difference. In the story of the Avadhuta Brahmana, he says, he mentions about a man who sharpens the arrow, when he was doing his work, the king passes by. He never noticed the king passing by. That was the concentration of his work on sharpening the arrow. Right? When a king passes by, you, will, you can understand, you can just imagine, visualize the situation of all the people accompanying him, uh, you know, shouting uh, hail to the king. Right? There will be so, so much of music around him, so much of noise around him, but nothing could distract this person. So here in both the stories you can understand there are too many distractions around you. In the story of the bird side, the tree, the uh, branches, here these are the distractions what others felt. You have lots of distractions around you, the mobile phones, the TV, the serials or what a series, whatever you see. Sometimes your friends, they distract you. So please come out of everything and focus and concentrate on your study and your character. 
character building is something which is very very important in life. So concentrate on character building and also on, on academics. All the best for a very very bright future and a very very joyful learning ahead throughout the year. Thank you all and have a blissful day ahead. Thank you.